Air Force Chief Air Chief Marshal B.S. Dhanoa on Monday said that when the Rafale fighter jet comes in, India's air defence deterrence will increase manifold. Referring to the recent dogfight on the LOC, he said that Pakistan will not come anywhere near the LOC or the border with the kind of capability that we will possess, for which presently they don't have an answer. Adding muscle to its firepower, the Indian Air Force on Monday inducted four of its 15 Chinook heavy lift helicopters in Chandigarh. The new multi-role helicopters will give significant boost to IAF's capabilities along the borders with China and Pakistan. The Chinooks are bought under a deal worth $1.5 billion with US-based defense company Boeing to procure 15 such helicopters which will be used to deploy men and machinery at high altitude locations. Union Minister Nitin Gadkari has said that the Indian Air Force strikes on terror camps in Pakistan's Balakot should not be linked to elections. He added that no one should politicize the strikes by either taking credit or talking about it in the election campaign. Jawanon ne balidan kiya, usko vivad ka vishe banana hai, ne jawanon ka afman hai. Na iska shreya lena chahiye, na iski charcha karni chahiye. Main itna hi kahunga ki is vishe ko rajniti se upar uthkar sabne dekhna chahiye. Two Pakistani Hindu teenage girls who were allegedly abducted, forced to convert and marry have approached Bahawalpur court seeking protection, news agency PTI reported. Reports said that a man who is suspected to have assisted in solemnizing the weddings of two girls, 13-year-old Ravina and 15-year-old Reena, was arrested on Sunday after Prime Minister Imran Khan ordered a probe into the incident. UP Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath kick-started the Lok Sabha campaign on a polarizing note. Campaigning for BJP candidate from Saharanpur, Raghav Lakhanpal, Yogi called the Congress candidate Imran Masood the son-in-law of terrorist Masood Azhar. Taking a dig at Congress General Secretary Priyanka Gandhi's boat yatra, Union Minister Nitin Gadkari on Monday said that her yatra was possible only because he built the Allahabad Varanasi waterway. He also reminded her that today she could drink Ganga water due to his efforts of cleaning River Ganga. In a big relief to US President Donald Trump, Special Counsel Robert Mueller's investigation did not find evidence that Trump's campaign conspired or coordinated with Russia to influence the 2016 presidential election. Mueller also investigated whether Trump obstructed justice but did not come to a definitive answer. Attorney General William Barr informed the Congress that Mueller's report does not exonerate the president on obstruction and instead sets out evidence on both sides of the question. Mueller wrapped up his investigation on Friday with no new indictments, bringing to a close a probe that has shadowed Trump for nearly two years. US-backed forces declared military victory over the Islamic State group in Syria on Saturday after liberating the last pocket of territory held by the militants. Syrian Democratic Forces commander declared destruction of the so-called Islamic State and the end of its ground control in its last pocket in the Baghaz region. A victory parade was held at the Al Omar oil field base near Baghaz, which was also attended by a senior United States diplomat. Deepika Padukone's first look from her upcoming film Chapak is out. The actor will be portraying the role of an acid attack survivor Lakshmi Agarwal in the biopic that traces her journey and how she braved all odds. Directed by Meghna Gulzar, Chapak is all set to release on January 10th, 2020. Apple's first launch event of the year will be streamed live on the company's website apple.com from tonight at 10:30 p.m. IST. A new video streaming service is expected to be announced along with a news and magazine subscription service. Some reports have hinted at a gaming subscription as well.